Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at some sample questions to help you prepare for the Salesforce Administrator exam. As you know, this is one of the foundational certifications to acquire as you work your way through the Salesforce ecosystem. It's a big exam and requires a high level of technical knowledge, so preparation is key. This isn't the first video we've done on admin content, so be sure to check out our admin playlist tagged in the description below. For now, let's jump into our practice questions. Question one. Cloudy Computing, a US-based company, has recently opened a small European office in the UK. The European team is complaining that the time zone and date time format is confusing. To ensure that all users have the correct time zone and formatting, what should the administrator suggest? Choose two. Have each European user change their locale via personal settings. Change the default time zone via the company information page in Setup. Have each European user change their time zone via personal settings. Change the default locale via the company information page in Setup. The correct answers are A and C. The default locale and time zone for an org is set on the company information page. An administrator can set a different locale and time zone when creating or editing a user record. Users can change their locale and time zone via the language and time zone settings in their personal settings. The locale controls the language and format of date and time, address, currency, name and number fields. In this example, only a small number of users require a different locale and time zone. So the company defaults should remain as is. Whilst the admin could manually update the language settings for each user, it would be best practice to show the users how they can change their own locale and time zone settings. In the race to the top of your industry, one detail can trip you up, like the handoff of work, for example. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be this way. Work Relay, a Salesforce app by NeoStella, ensures the right work is done by the right person at the right time. No dropped batons, we promise. Team up with Work Relay today at salesforcebend.com forward slash work. Question two. Cloudy Computing has a list of office locations. An office location should be chosen on various objects, including opportunity, order, and contract. The value should be the same, regardless of which object the list appears on. To ensure that the pick list values are enforced for all objects using the list of office locations, what should you recommend? Use a custom text field. Create a custom pick list field on each object and add each value separated by a new line. Create a custom pick list field on each object and use a global pick list value set. Use a custom lookup field. The answer to this question is C. A global pick list value set can be used to share and restrict values across objects and custom pick list fields. Any custom pick list using the global value set will be restricted to the values listed in the global value set by default, ensuring consistency across objects. Question three. What options are available when you enable case merge functionality in Salesforce Lightning? Choose two answers. View merged cases. Delete duplicate cases after merge. Merge up to five duplicate cases. Keep duplicate cases after merge. For this question, B and D are correct. Case merge functionality must be enabled in Salesforce Lightning experience. In addition to selecting enabled, you can choose to keep duplicate cases after merge or delete duplicate cases after merge. If you select keep duplicate cases after merge, they will be visible in the merged cases related list. Now don't forget that only three cases can be merged at one time. Question four. As the Salesforce administrator, you are required to restrict certain users ability to view a dashboard. How can this be accomplished? Disable access to the dashboard on the user's profile. Restrict the access to the folder that the source report is located. Restrict the access to the folder that the dashboard is located. Create a sharing rule to restrict the access. The correct answer here is C. Restrict the access to the folder that the dashboard is located in. Access to reports and dashboards is controlled by folder access. 
To prevent the user from viewing a specific dashboard, you will need to remove their access to the dashboard folder. Question five. What are some features and considerations of themes and branding in Salesforce Lightning Experience? Choose three options. Apps have the option that enables them to override a custom themes, brand image, and navigation bar color. Custom themes cannot be deleted. Built-in themes cannot be modified. Multiple themes can be active at the same time. An administrator can choose from built-in themes or create a custom theme. The three correct answers here are A, C, and E. An administrator can create a bespoke user experience using themes and branding in Salesforce Lightning Experience. You can choose an inbuilt theme. However, these cannot be modified. Alternatively, you can create a custom theme and choose brand images, colors, background, banner, and default avatar images. Custom themes can be created, previewed, activated, and deleted. Only one theme can be active and you cannot have multiple active themes. With apps, you have the option to override the organization's theme. This means that users will see the app's brand image and navigation bar color, not the one defined in the custom theme. Question six, what is the maximum amount of fields that you can set for history tracking on an object? 20, 10, 30, five. The correct answer is A. You can track a maximum of 20 fields per object on both standard and custom objects. You cannot track formula, roll-up summary, or auto number fields, or certain system-generated fields such as created by and last modified by. Question seven. At Cloudy Computing, cases are auto-assigned to queues. What feature of Salesforce could be used to ensure that cases are picked up by agents in a timely manner and not accidentally missed? Case status, workflow rules, case escalation rules, case assignment rules. C is the right answer for this question. Cloudy computing could use case escalation rules to alert users that a case is a certain age, for example, 24 hours old, and is unresolved, so it needs attention. Question eight. Which of the following would be reasons to use a custom report type? Choose three. With reporting is required. With without reporting is required. The fields available in a report need to be restricted, reorganized, or renamed. The reporting requirement cannot be met by standard reports. All standard and custom fields for each object in the report should be available. B, C, and D are the right answers here. We should use custom report types when standard reporting cannot meet our requirements. Good examples include the need to restrict, reorganize, or rename fields, and create with without reports. For example, opportunities with or without products. Question nine. A user has been terminated from cloudy computing and therefore their access to Salesforce needs to be removed. However, because of their seniority, the user has a lot of dependencies in the system. Which feature would be best to cope with this scenario? Reset the user's password. Deactivate the user record. Freeze the user. Delete the user. The right answer is C to freeze the user record. Certain dependencies in Salesforce can prevent you from deactivating a user. In this sentence, you may want to opt to freeze a user temporarily until the dependencies have been resolved, allowing for a complete deactivation. Don't forget, you can't delete user records. Question 10. Before creating an opportunity record type, what two things must you do first? Create a path, create a sales process, create a support process, create a page layout. The right answers here are B and D. Before you begin creating your record type, you should first create a sales process and a page layout, as these are assigned when setting up record types. And that's all the questions we have time for today. 
I hope those were useful for you in your Salesforce admin study journey, and hopefully gave you a better idea of how the questions are worded and how specific some of the answers can be. If you want to know more about the actual structure of the exam, be sure to check out our admin cert guide video linked in the description below. You can also have a go at even more practice exam questions from our practice exam pack on the Salesforce Ben courses site. You'll find it linked in the description below.